The man slipped and fell into the pickle jar. His co-workers didn't notice and sealed the lid securely. But then the war broke out and the factory was shut down. Everyone was repatriated to their homes. The man was completely forgotten. Until 100 years later, two young boys broke in and opened the vat. It's been submerged for a hundred years. Mark was still steaming. His appearance hadn't changed a bit. Then the government called for an emergency briefing. People wondered how he survived. Mark was distracted by the reporter's questions because just recently the doctor said that his wife had died 80 years ago. His children were also killed in a car accident. Mark didn't accept it and punched him straight in the face. But the next day, the doctor had good news. He was survived by a grandson. This is Bob. As soon as they met, Mark hugged him. Bob decided to take his grandfather home first. But as soon as he stepped outside, Mark froze. The skyscrapers were weighing him down. Looking at the cab that Bob stopped, he thought it was some kind of monster. Back at the house, 